Well, this morning I woke up, and often when I wake up in the morning, I kind of, uh, I, I get these wonderful insights and these glimmers of light and these glimpses of, of eternity or, or wisdom or I don't know where they come from, but they're just beautiful. And, and there they are. And years ago, my teacher, William Samuel, he would use that term, glimmers and glimpses. And he would say that, that those glimmers and glimpses, those are the things that keep transforming us, that keep us growing, that keep us alive, that keep us learning and, and seeing more and more and climbing the mo mountain higher in many ways. Uh, each, each glimmer, each glimpse of truth is, a, is another turn around the mountain. And every time we turn around the mountain, we go a little higher. Anyway, I get these lovely glimmers in the morning, and sometimes they'll wake me up at four in the morning, which is kind of neat too. But, uh, and I, I know that the reason they're there and the reason these beautiful glimmers of light come to me, and, and they come to everybody, and I, and I know this is, this is the way it is for all of us, and, and but those glimmers of light, they're very important. They're very, uh, they're essential in our journey. And that's what we're here for, really, is to, to tap into this. Well, for me, it's like, it feels like a flowing river, a flowing river of life. Um, in the ancient, they would call it the Tao. And there really is a beautiful flow of, of life, of, of the presence of life, of the uh, infinite movement of life. I mean, it, it isn't moving anywhere, and yet, that's what's so amazing. It's all here, all totally, completely here. Nothing's moving anywhere, and yet, there's this beautiful joy of time and space and tangible things and 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 a and a lifetime and and here we are living these lifetimes and there's so many gifts so many gifts that that this divine presence is is being um, i i like to see it as as an infinite presence that is always here. It's always here. You cannot, we can't, we can't ever not be here. That's what's so extraordinary. Um, I know many of the uh, non-duality teachings always teach that, uh, you know, like to stay in the now. And for me, it's been like, wait, how can you not be in the now? I mean, that's the only place we really are. You can think in the now, you can read, you can write, you can talk, you can, you can love, you can do all these wonderful things. And where are we doing them? Here and now, always, always. And here and now is always connected to who I am. So identity and the presence of life we begin to realize our, our one, one presence. And, and so I, I am the world I see in many ways. It's like, well, in all ways, actually, who I am is, is what the world is. And my friend William, years ago and he wrote a beautiful book called The Child Within Us Lives and that was a remarkable book just remarkable and it's still published and it's still available and what he says is he says it so beautifully that there there is a core of us there is a core identity of us that is pure and pristine and and it's who we are before we came into this world, and it's who we are after we leave this world. And in, I, I think, I think for me, what I realize is, 
it's so present with me, it is who I am. This, this pristine, innocent, beautiful, childlike self of me is, that's who I am. And that's who we all really are until we get kind of covered up by uh, indoctrination and education and, and uh, the adult, the adult world of the, the system, I don't know what we call it, but um, whatever it is, it's a part of the journey and it's supposed to be there and it's, uh, it's how we learn. It's how we learn to actually recognize this childlikeness when it returns because we go, oh my God, this is it because we know what it wasn't and that wasn't a lot of fun trying to trying to be something we're not and um, I think the whole the whole system tries to make us something we're not and uh, that's impossible because we're always here and we're always present and the presence is what we are and even though this presence is infinite and has no beginning and no end, it, it doesn't mean that we are without a sense of self. That's the beauty of it, and that's what I found out. And that's when I realized God, the ineffable, this presence of allness, this totality, this reality, this changeless isness, God, God is love. And that love expresses itself as each one of us getting to be ourself. We don't have to annihilate ourself. We don't have to get rid of any part of ourself. Even, even those parts of ourself that perhaps maybe we didn't like at one point, once we begin to find and discover this true self of ourself, it's like we've jumped into this beautiful river of life and we're open to this river of life and in this river all that we all that we all that we become or all that is who we are is so beautiful we never worry anymore about all the things that got washed away let's say because really in a way the aspects of myself that I didn't like, once I discovered this child, this, this beautiful core of me, somehow they just vanished. And I think it's because, I think it's because this, this energy of life itself, it's like a purifying living vitality. And, and in this livingness, we are well, it's like that old biblical term, we are cleansed. It's like we're living the fresh beauty of who we are. And each one of us unique and, and individual and uh, distinct. There's a distinct isness and identity of each of us and each one so beautiful each one like like marbles in a in a vase and you're looking at all these glorious colors of marbles and all the different or sand look at all the sand in the world every, they say every grain of sand is different every snowflake is different every blade of grass is distinct and different and every butterfly wing and and each of us beautifully and wholly distinct and unique and beautiful. And as we live in this, as we have opened ourselves, opened ourselves to this childlikeness, we become fearless. And in this fearlessness, this rushing river of life is pouring through. And in this pouring through, we become inventive, creative, uh, whatever our gifts or talents are, they begin to, we're not afraid to express them. We're not afraid to uh, live, to live, to live. We're not afraid to live. We're not afraid of life. We're not afraid of life anymore. And that to me, is the most glorious gift and that's well 
Once you start to find the child, you will know, you will truly know, God really is love. And God really is expressing this love in the expression, in the presence of being you and being me. Anyway, thanks you guys, and I love you. Have a sweet day. Bye.